Pika Labs just left beta, launched 1.0, and raised a massive round of funding. They've introduced new features we haven't even seen in the AI video space before. In this video, I'm going to give you an idea of who runs Pika Labs and walk you through the new 1.0. Let's get started. Pika Labs was founded in April 2023 by Demi Guo and Chenlin Meng, and they were two Stanford classmates who were doing computer science PhDs together. And Demi had previously been the youngest employee at Meta AI Research, where she won numerous awards in software development during that time. And the two founders were inspired by Runway, which is a generative AI video startup that's recently reached a $1.5 billion valuation. So Demi and Chenlin submitted an AI film together at Runway's 2023 AI Film Festival, and they lost. During the contest, they became frustrated though with Runway's UI and started to consider how they might do things differently if they were running that company themselves. So soon after that, they started brainstorming and Pika Labs was launched on a Discord in a free and popular beta in this space. In less than a year, Pika Labs has been used by over 500,000 people and has gone on to raise $55 million now from strategic investors in generative AI. Pretty much everybody who's backed it is a big name in AI themselves, and Adam D'Angelo is one of them, and he's the OpenAI board member who controversially voted out Sam Altman as CEO. A lot of what Demi and Chen Lin are trying to accomplish with Pico 1.0 is around the user interface and making it easy for anyone to make a great AI video. In the Pico 1.0 interface, they've taken the dark and minimalist style of Runway and played with adding more tools without losing the minimalist style. So the new interface also borrows from Midjourney and introduces an explore mode where you can access other artworks for inspiration. The fundamentals of the functionality of the Pika Discord have actually all been carried over. So a lot of the things that you're familiar with are just there in different formats. And Pika is going to be releasing a mobile app as well. So this new interface unlocks a sea of new features for us. So let's dive right into what those are. An unexpected new feature is video to video. And this allows you to transform an existing video into another style with a text prompt. This is something we've seen previously in early versions of Runway Gen 1, Kyber, and Pika seems to have the most polish on their video to video model, though I wouldn't put it past Runway to update Gen 1 soon in a competition with them. Maybe the most valuable to content creators is the ability to use AI to manipulate aspect ratios. So Pika's aware most content creators don't just want it widescreen, they also want to be able to put it in formats for TikTok, Instagram, YouTube Shorts. So they've built in a feature that can use generative AI to help expand the canvas of a video and flawlessly fill in the unused space so the video looks great in any format. They've also added generative fill editing tools so you can replace individual objects in a scene just based on a prompt. So you can see it's still a little bit blurry, but this is very early stage and soon we're gonna have amazing new implications for product advertisements in particular. If you're in the business of entertainment, you're probably most looking forward to the high quality of CGI animation that we're seeing. And this is the first time for sure that we've seen anything like this for text to video that could be passed off potentially as work from Pixar or DreamWorks to the untrained eye. So it's edging close to the quality level that Pixar's Renderman software gets to, where it has nuanced facial expressions, lifelike lighting, and celebrities that look easily identifiable. And finally, a big quality of life update. Pika is allowing users to extend clip length beyond three seconds, and the mechanics of this aren't 100% clear yet, but it looks as though it's just gonna operate similar to Runway, where you do an initial generation and extend that clip. If you want to sign up for Pika Labs, you can do so at pika.art today. 